I never set out in my life um, to be an artist or never even thought that that was something that I was able to do. I was born in Egypt, um, raised in Lebanon, and uh, left Lebanon my teens, 14, 15, during the Civil War. Um, came to Vancouver for a few years and then decided to move back to Europe. Paris seemed to be the closer shift and I made my studies there and married there, raised my family there. I discovered art late in my life, I'm around 37 years old. I signed up for drawing classes, it just seemed to be the most practical thing, I could do anything after that and, and so I started attending the class and it was a total frustration because whatever I had in mind I was truly not able to translate onto paper. And I was lucky enough, I think, to find a teacher that sensed this. And so she literally took me by the hand and took me to a sculpture um, workshop. They asked me to do just a sphere. And I, I, I did a very intricate piece and it, it just happened. Just, I, I didn't know what was going on. And, and then the teacher said to me, well, how long have you been sculpting for? And I said, never. It's the first time I touched a ball of clay. You know, when we were working in finance and so forth, I did not have a financial career. I was an interpreter, I worked on the contracts, but I was not master of whatever I was doing. And yet there I was, completely in control of whatever I was gonna do, the way I wanted to do, the way I wanted to say it. And that, I think it took a, a little bit of time for me to assess it and to understand it. And I did to a point in France, but I think that my arrival in, in Vancouver um, nine years ago, is truly when all of this triggered into something else. It gave me wings. I was not limited by space, by size, by scale. I was free to just take this that I had within my hands to as far as I wanted to take it. So see what I like about these pieces is that I'm also almost painting on a surface that I built myself. So I use my spheres as a canvas. Some of my pieces are 30 feet tall, some of my pieces are five inches. You know, as artists, when we create, I think that the thing that happens between us and the piece is something that is very, very personal. And it's true that in a lot of instances, you can have a message to convey, you can have a story to tell, you can have an expression about um, a social situation or a political situation. However, this very intimate time and form that you have with your work is yours. You can't expect anybody to feel and to react to the work the way you have. You will give it your story. You will feel it in your own way and you'll give it your interpretation. And I think this is even better than you living it through me. In the past nine years since I've moved here, and mostly in the past five years, I have truly become what I was hoping I would be one day. I mean, I guess, or what, without knowing it, I, I feel that I am me now. I feel that I am me without being me to please anybody. I'm me for me.